hello and welcome back so now in this video we will attach a rifle to our enemy so for that inside the enemy let me turn off the gizmos actually and let's go inside the enemy then root then hips and then spine then chest in the chest we have this right shoulder right arm and then right forearm then we have this right hand and in the right hand as you can see it has this weapon holder so we will attach the weapon right there for that if you go inside the weapon pack as you can see there are many beautiful weapons as you can see so what we will do we will attach a weapon to the player let's do this one for example okay in the weapon holder there it is as you can see there is the weapon let's move it a little bit up there okay that's it let's just actually click on the enemy now disable the script okay so that it doesn't follow the player and like this let's just play the game and now i will tell you how we can solve this rifle issue so if we go inside scene view here is the player enemy player holding the rifle okay this is the rifle now as you can see the player is moving so how we will be able to make the rifle position so in the game view okay when the game is playing just simply change this to not loop time okay remove the loop time tick from it and then make shooting proof from here okay and now if in the scene view as you can see the player is being stopped okay because we removed the loop time now let's just first of all fix the rifle position so first of all let's move the rifle a little bit to the player finger right there as you can see okay then a little bit down below like this and then let's just move it a little bit like that in this straight position actually I'll just uh, move it a little bit up there, okay. Nope. Let's move it like this, first of all. Okay, it is now straight. So let's go ahead and move it now a little bit up there. Okay, make sure that is right here with the enemy finger then i think it looks good like this if you notice it but we need to move it a little bit to that side okay like this a little bit to that side that's it okay so the rifle is i think perfectly fine let me just copy the rifle transform actually so copy component and then let me copy it again for double checking now as you can see click on this prefab and back completely this is the rifle remove the box collider from the rifle or actually we can leave the box collider and now if you notice the fire rifle has loop time removed so add the loop loop time again okay and then click on the rifle and let's paste the transform now whoops its values are again just removed we need to copy it again now so let me just do that okay so i have pasted the component values like that okay now and after pasting the values there is the rifle box collider everything set up i think now let's click on enemy and let's activate the script now let's play the game and let's see how does it looks so if we run towards the enemy there it is the enemy with the rifle 
and as you can see it looks really good okay as you can see now the enemy is dead and that's it now he is right there again let's kill him again and he is dead again and guys actually we need to make the rifle size a little bit bigger because it looks really small nope that will be a lot more bigger let's make this as 1.5 maybe 1.5 1.5 nope I think 1.1 will be enough let's play the game again okay let's pull in towards the enemy there he is and now the weapon is seeing a little bit more good as you can see so make the size of the weapon 1.1 that's it now we have the enemy we have the enemy can now kill us we can kill the enemy the enemy now has animation the enemy has the rifle now now the next thing which is remaining is the player teammate okay so now from next video onwards we will add the player teammate so with this done catch guys in the next one